Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. When ASML CEO Peter Winnink said in 2023 that the Chinese will break through the blockade sooner or later, the semiconductor industry only regarded it as a business talk. But on the morning of March 29, 2025, the announcement of less than a thousand words suddenly posted on the official website of the Chinese Academy of Sciences broke the coffee cups all over Silicon Valley. Chinese scientists really used solid-state lasers to blast open the EUV technology fortress. This technology, called All Solid State DUV Light Source, is centered on a YB, YAG crystal the size of a fingernail. When the 1030 nanometer laser beam penetrated this homemade crystal, a miracle happened. The beam split into 258 nanometers and 1553 nanometers on two optical paths and finally collided with 193 nanometer deep ultraviolet light in the lithium borate crystal. Laboratory data show that this device, which is only the size of a microwave oven, can output a beam with a spectral purity comparable to that of ASML equipment, which is enough to support 3 nanometer chip manufacturing. Traditional lithography machine giants are now staring at the dazzling figure of 70 milliwatts. Compared with the 120 watt violent power of ASML equipment, the results of the Chinese Academy of Sciences seem immature, but anyone with a discerning eye can understand that when the Chinese reduce the size of the laser generator from a truck to the size of an office desk, and when the power consumption is reduced from the level of a steel-making furnace to the level of a household air conditioner. The rules of the game have changed. What's more amazing is that scientists made a vortex in the beam and used orbital angular momentum technology to equip each photon with a navigator. This unexpected gain has allowed quantum chip manufacturing to enter the practical stage 10 years ahead of schedule. Washington's sanctions list suddenly looks ridiculous. The eczema laser technology that ASML engineers are proud of relies on a mixture of argon and fluorine that circulates 200 times per minute, just like using firecrackers to drive a rocket. The solid-state solution of the Chinese Academy of Sciences essentially replaces chemical explosions with crystal oscillations, which not only throws off the shackles of the rare gas supply chain, but also allows the lithography machine to get rid of the ICU ward that requires constant temperature and humidity. Engineers from the Fujian Institute of Research on the Structure of Matter revealed that the cleanliness requirements of the workshop for manufacturing key crystal materials are two orders of magnitude lower than traditional technologies. But behind the carnival lies sober thinking. The power of 70 milliwatts is only 0.06% of that of ASML equipment which is like a race between a bicycle and a high-speed train. The Chinese Academy of Sciences team privately admitted that for every one watt increase in power of existing technology, the crystal temperature will soar by 60 degrees and thermal management has become a roadblock. However, they have found a breakthrough. A heat sink made of topological insulator material has successfully reduced thermal resistance by 75% in laboratory tests. What is even more interesting is that the paper on this technology was quietly posted on the SPIA official website as early as early March, 
and no one in the international peers was alert until the official announcement of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The old masters in the lithography workshop held the vernier caliper and sighed, in the past, to adjust the molecular laser, you had to take care of the gas ratio like taking care of a baby. Now the Chinese have directly replaced the baby with a robot. The chief engineer of a wafer factory in Suzhou has calculated that if solid-state light sources are mass-produced, the cost of each wafer can be saved by 12%, not to mention the saved factory space and electricity costs. But he is also worried. Just like the pain of LCD panels replacing cathode ray tubes, the new process requires the entire industry chain to be readjusted. ASML's stock plummeted 7% on the day the news was announced, but Wenink was relieved. He said bluntly in an internal meeting, fortunately, they chose to improve DUV instead of subverting EUV, which gave us some breathing time. It's too early to say this. The Chinese Academy of Sciences team was found to have applied for a solid-state EUV light source patent last year. Although the details have not been disclosed, the design that looks like a photon boomerang on the patent schematic has caused TSMC's R&D director to lose sleep for three nights. Since 2018, the number of Chinese papers in the field of artificial crystals has quietly topped the world. By 2023, LBO crystal production capacity will monopolize 80% of the global market. All preparations are accumulating power for this moment. As the director of the Semiconductor Research Institute of the University of Tokyo said, when the Chinese decided to spend 20 years to solve a certain technical problem, the blockade became their compass for the direction of breakthrough. The prototype in the laboratory is still humming at this moment, and the 70 milliwatt blue light beam is jumping in the vacuum chamber. It may take another three years to go on the production line, but each flashing light spot tells a fact. A new light source has been lit on the power map of the semiconductor world. This beam of light not only shines through the nanogrooves on the wafer, but also reflects the eternal truth in the game of science and technology. The innovative physical law never pays attention to any artificial blockade.